Hello everyone, welcome to the final reveal for the Scoyatel cards. And today I am pleased to show you... Hello, you're in the Man vs Wild. Today, I am in the most dangerous forest in Temeria. And I have to admit, I am completely lost. But hopefully, I am always prepared. And you should do the same. Even if things cannot go along the plan, if that's the case, you have to always, always have a backup plan. Telianin Aip Colen, the legendary elf bandit and agent from Tkoyater. She has 8 power to 13 provisions. She has a deploy, shuffle an ally unit with a provision cost of 9 or less to your deck, then play the top elf with a deploy ability from your deck, and then an order ability. You spawn and play backup plan, but if this unit is prepared, infuse self with, at the end of your turn, damage a random enemy unit by the number of allied prepare unit instead. So before diving in this ability, let's see what are the new mechanic she has. The backup plan is the new tactic card for 5 provision, uh, which allows you to damage the last enemy played, enemy unit, sorry, played by your opponent by 2, and creates a bronze elf with a deployability that was not in your starting deck. Okay, and the prepared thing comes from the heist, the new tactic, the new epic tactic for 11 provision which is an echo card and it allows you to spawn three cargoes on an allied row. So the cargo is a token, um, it's Dune and it has a order ability which allows you to trigger the deployability of a non-veiled, non-prepared and non-neutral soldier, agent or bandit. Then infuse it with the prepared category and then you banish the cargo and you can't target the units you just played this turn. So you have to wait uh, at least one turn to use the cargo on the en on the card you just played. Well, the night will soon arrive and one of the most dangerous risks is to run out of food and to not have a safe house. We will take care of the first danger because I found a whipper nest just here. This is a very dangerous creature who has not any predator. So she let her nest unprotected. Their eggs are a great source of protein. I will eat one now and take this second for the rest. So now that we know what Selenin is about, let's talk about combos. The deployability is pretty strong. Fixing your hand for free is always a good option and you basically play two elves in one turn which means you trigger the full fan day scenario instantly if uh, it doesn't get heat waved of course but the most important part of this ability is the order spawn and play backup plan is always nice in, in a short round uh, but the the most powerful part of the uh, ability is the prepared thing um, because she infused self with, at the end of your turn, damage and random enemy units by the number of allied, of prepared allied units. Which means, if you prepared her before using her order ability, that means you played the cargo on Telenin. So you replayed her deploy. So you played another elf from your deck already, which bypassed the, by the backup plan, but you transform her into a maximum 3 points per turn engine of um, control, which is super, super strong. Every end of your turn, you'll do 3 points of damage to a random enemy unit, and that's huge. The sole downside she has is that you have to secure her at least one turn, because as we saw in the cargo ability, you cannot target units you played this turn. So when you play Terenin, Either she or the elf you play from the deck cannot be targeted by the cargo. So if you want to um, 
take advantage of her infusion, you have to make her leave at least one turn to uh, reactivate her deployability and then activate her older ability um, to infuse the, herself, which means if she survives at least one turn, you have basically two elves on the board that can be selected uh, by the cargo ability. So on two turns, you have basically a two point per turn engine and then the turn after you transform it into a three point engine, which is which is very, very great. That's all for me. Thank you so much, Sail Project Red, for uh, letting me uh, revealing this beauty. <laughs> um, it was an honor to work on this, of course, and I'm really hyped about what can we do about this whole bandit archetype. See ya. It was Telianina for Man vs. Wild. And never forget, always be prepared to the worst. And if it comes, have a backup plan. Goodbye.